This is definitely it, sis. Wow, I peaked. Ooh, beautiful. You might be like, hey Beth, why are you all dressed up? You look really pretty. And firstly, I'd be like, no, I don't. <laughs> I look a mess. Um, or like, I don't feel like I look like me today. I just look a bit weird. Um, but that's not the point. So, today I'm going to South Sea uh, because tomorrow I'm getting my tattoo from Lauren. Uh, if you know the like backstory behind me and Lauren. I was due to get this tattoo I think about three months ago but because of lockdowns and stuff it got pushed back. Uh, I booked it over a year and a half ago uh, and she's an artist that I found on Instagram uh, on my ad feature and like I fell in love with her work basically instantly. <laughs> Within a week of following her I was like hey uh, can I have this tattoo and she was like no um, I've already done that because it was a flash that I found her on and flash that I found her on because the piece that I loved was a piece of flash uh, and she'd already done it but now she's like incorporated it into her main style uh, and yeah so she's the same artist who did this print uh, and another print on this wall but you can't see it because it's like right here you see like that edge but yeah um so she's really talented and I'm gonna go get my forearm tattooed. This little boy. So like this is the before I guess. It's just an arm, very boring. My first big piece on the way to starting my sleeve, uh, which my mum's not impressed about, but you know, uh, fuck it, <laughs> I want one. I want to collect art pieces, so I'm gonna start with the big boy. Let's not act like I don't have three more booked for the rest of this year. <laughs> How exciting is that? We're gonna drive up today, have a bit of an explore around South Sea, see what's happening. We got a hotel booked for tonight. Then tomorrow morning, I've got my appointment at 11 a.m. Don't know how long it's gonna take. I'm gonna guess around two hours. <laughs> Although to be fair, that took like 20 minutes, if that, and I thought that was gonna take like half an hour. So evidently I'm not too great at picking how long things take or guesstimating but yeah I've, I've gone all out kids I'm talking let's see if I can lift this I've got a suitcase for one night away I am that level of extra but yeah um have I forgotten anything I don't think so it's meant to rain today so that's not great but I mean traffic lights that's perfect that means we hopefully won't run into any because where I live traffic is awful in the summers but that's okay also uh my etsy stuff goes on sale on thursday and i'm so scared because i have to edit all the pictures on the way eh. so i'll be fun said nobody ever having to edit over 800 pictures anyway we're gonna get going i'll update you i'll update you whenever something interesting happens Lynch, you eat myself down there. My daughter straight up isn't opening. Fuck my drag, am I right? Bruh. Look, I made it in my room and I thought I'd do a super quick room tour. Uh, yeah. So if you haven't noticed, I got into my room safely. I am here. A very nice maintenance man was just walking by 
and the woman in the room next to me noticed that I couldn't get in and she couldn't get in either. So we got him to come and let us in our rooms, like our respective rooms. So she's in that room there. This mirror makes me look so different. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is it? Anyway, room tour. Little peep hole. Little peep. <laughs> Funny. Uh, there's a gap up there, definitely big enough to hide in. I feel like if I was playing hide and seek here, that's where I would hide. Room 420, please. It. <laughs> um, it's a cupboard. She's got extra duvet. You know, safe, that kind of stuff you'd always see. A uh, big ass mirror. <laughs> then we got coffee essentials. We got drawers. I wonder if there's a Bible. In there. Not that I care. God hates me anyway. I'm gay. Well, halfway. So, you know, got that going for me. Got some lights. Got another mirror. Hello again, my friends. What a flattering angle. Um, desk space, TV. I've already tracked these drawers. I can confirm there is no Bible. Once again, the Lord will kill me if it was a real thing. Next. Um, got my bed it's kind of weird because we've got two chairs yet one bed like you want me to have guests in here oh my god this bed is not straight that triggers the fuck out of me let's ha ah, there we go that's slightly better telephone nightstand cute cute did i book the cheapest room yeah do i write no we've got a beautiful view of other people's rooms. I don't know what's in there, but I can see it through my phone. It must just be a story. Creepy. I hope there's some pigeons on here tomorrow morning. That'll be cute. Oh, of course, there's things at the top, so I can't jump to my death. It's uh, it's always fun to see at a hotel. Brilliant. A uh, little picture of a boat, because we're in South Sea. Where the south meets the sea. I don't know if that's a thing. Bathroom's cute. Except like, what the fuck is this stain? I'm calling it now because it comes from the light. I reckon it's a dead bug that's just like, ooh. I'm saying it's a dead bug that's just kind of died. It's now vibing. Ooh. This is definitely it, sis. Wow, I peaked. Ooh, beautiful. Anyway, bathtub, toilet, sink, sink, sink. It's not sink. Um, you can tell I've been in the car for hours because I'm being a fucking psycho. Kind of triggered they didn't refill this, kind of not, because I watched that Hilton video about what they do, uh, and I understand it now. But yeah, so this is my room tour. As for now, I have no idea what we're going to do. Um, the area we're staying in is super nice. So literally right opposite the hotel is their pier. And then like, there's a little ducky boat corner thing park uh, around the corner. So we might <laughs> go rent ducky boats and be, you know, goals. Oh, sheesh, you can really see all my sparks. My skin has been so bad recently. Could not tell you why though. But as for now, I flop. My legs kill from sitting in the same position for hours. Uh, but I managed to edit my stock pictures, which was pretty cool. My legs look so weird like this. I look like a chair. <laughs> if I was a chair, would people buy me? No, I don't think so. Damn, I do be looking like a mess. Uh, not even a hot mess for that. What are your thoughts of South Sea so far, Mum? Yes. I think it is. So cool. Okay. Oh, hey. My girl has my bed. 
I have that bag. Never seen anyone else wear it before. Tattoo day though. Hello. <laughs> it's my tattoo appointment day. You can tell I just woke up. No idea why my skin's freaking out today. Um Damn, it's real bad. Anyway, we move. Uh so it is 8 a.m. I think I got about six hours sleep. Just because this bed's so fucking uncomfortable. Um, it's alright. I managed to sleep okay. Um, but yeah. Plus there's building work going on and I'm a really light sleeper anyway. Uh, I'm so nervous. That's a lie, I'm not. Uh, I've got the last season of My Hero to watch <laughs> while I'm getting tattooed. i got pictures to edit. I'm gonna listen to my audiobook for a little bit. I'm not too, too worried. I also found out Tofu Q, which is a shop I really like and I've ordered from before. Um, has a shop in Portsmouth, but it's closed. So that kind of sucks, but there is a vintage shop nearby that does vintage records, clothing, and they have like a really big anime section, apparently. Um, it's a very random mix, however, that's all the stuff I like, so I'm gonna try and go there maybe before my appointment, maybe after, depending on timing. Uh, I'm just waiting for my mom to wake up, so I don't know, I might get ready and then just flop for a little bit. Okay, so anyone who ever gets tattoos will always tell you, stock up on sweets. I'm still eating my skills. Well, that was my snack reveal gone. Anyway, these are the snacks we got for today. We got Sour Patch Kids, which I haven't had in years, but I remember I really liked them. Sour Skittles, which I've got to be honest, aren't that sour. And just some new potato. But we're gonna go for breakfast in a minute. So I'm gonna have these in like half an hour when I've eaten my actual substantial breakfast. That way I can get hyped. Goodbye, room. You were good for one night. Let's go find my mom. It says no exit, but. Was it this one that I snuck through? Yeah, this is one. Snuck through this one, let's see the alarm goes off. Sick. Let's go see my mom. House cleaning! Morning! Hello! Hi! You look gorgeous! Thank you, so do you. Squeeze in there, let's go there and 
Mum, what do you think of the tattoo? I love it. Yeah? Yeah. I really love it. Eek! It's so bloody and ewy. But it's so cute. Right, let's Just like that it is uh, a week later so all the clips you just saw were taken from a week ago when i was in south sea uh literally bang on a week ago a week ago, a week ago. i'm trying to be very careful so you can't see my arm um fair warning in advance my arm is fucking disgusting uh it's currently peeling and crusty and because my last tattoo was so teeny tiny uh, and it's on the back of my arm I didn't really notice it peeling or being crusty but this one is like making up for the first one and some. <laughs> uh, I Words cannot explain how happy I am. Uh, I'll show you and then I'll explain a little bit about what it is. So let's ignore the fact I'm wearing pyjamas shall we? So it's this beautiful old flower girl designed by the gorgeous Lauren Happel, which if you have followed me for a considerable amount of time, you will know she is my absolute favorite artist in the world. She, well, next to Keith Haring and like a few other artists, she is one of my favorite like fine line artists and fine line and fine art drawings. And like this tattoo means so much to me and i wanted it in a very obvious place because it's just something i want to be able to look at so the original sign we were gonna do uh it says flourishing originally she was gonna have the word flourishing in her shirt however when we were looking at sizes we kind of worked out that over time when i get older and my skin naturally expands and the ink comes out a little bit it's just gonna look like a big block of text so we decided to move it and originally we were gonna put it above which is why it's arched like this however I asked if we can move it to the side uh, and because basically I wanted to be able to read it the tattoo is for me and I felt like if I have it above it will be like front facing so people will be able to read it like with this one which says subjective just broke oh fuck me because this tattoo is for me and it is me like um yeah this tattoo is not for anyone else it is for me it is to symbolize me basically so for people who aren't aware i've spent arguably the last eight years of my life battling eating disorders and uh, body dysmorphia, like it's still something I struggle with hugely today. I'm in such a better place than I was. I'm healthy, um, physically, mentally, I'm just, I could cry. I'm in such good places. The best place I've ever been, happiness wise, recovery wise. This, like, I've been in recovery probably for like three years. <laughs> I say three years, but realistically my recovery probably started two years ago when i openly made the decision like hey um you should do this properly because when my dad passed away um i realized like hey he's not gonna get better i should get better for him and then like i started eating but like the mental side of the recovery started like two years ago and over lockdown um I started learning a lot about body positivity and I started doing things like yoga and doing things that make me happy and my soul happy and learning things about myself and just learning about the kind of person I am and I really wanted this tattoo to symbolize that because one word that's float uh, one word that's thrown around a lot in the recovery community especially around like circa 2015 20, 2016 which is when I was at my worst um was flourishing like I followed a lot of accounts who were girls who were put into inpatient or they were very sick with other eating disorders and they would always use the word like flourishing to describe how they were feeling or I feel like it was one of the words that you would associate with a recovery because like flourishing flowers, 
like blooming the idea of like rebirth you know and yeah becoming something beautiful so like this whole flower girl motif is that it is symbolizing how I am flourishing into being the person I've always wanted to be <laughs> like I've openly said before I did not think I would make it past 18 the fact I'm 20 and I'm doing things I never thought I'd be able to do like do YouTube have pink hair run a successful Etsy shop <laughs> pursue my dance career like shit I never thought possible um <laughs> And this just symbolizes my recovery. Like, I would not be here without this arm, without all this weight I've put on. I would not be here without my brain, like everything. Um, basically, this girl is based off me because when I was younger, I always wanted to be the girl who wore like the big skirt and the tight top and she had like a thigh gap and she was tiny but that is not me. That could never be me, absolutely not. I'm still learning how to be confident in skirts. Uh, I went out on Saturday, where, on Sunday wearing one and oof, so many compliments. <laughs> um, but like, she's just a cool little alternative girl. She's got a checkered skirt on, she got some boots, she got some big fluffy socks over the top, which I love. She got a, uh, nice long sleeve shirt on and the flowers sprouting out the top are actually date not date are actually lilies and lilies are my favorite flower unfortunately i can't have them because i have cats and cats and lilies do not mix they don't fuck with each other so <laughs> that's my little tribute and like yeah i just wanted to have something to remind me that uh, I've gone through so much and I'm recovering and I should continue to recover and I have a reason to. I have so many reasons to recover and be healthy and love myself and one of the things I have always wanted was I wanted to be a tattooed woman. Um, you know, I think it's pretty obvious I've always wanted to be an alt girl uh, and now I'm very slowly becoming her, you know, I've got I've only got one, like two ear piercings. <laughs> I've got pink hair, I've got two tattoos. Like it's not much to show, but for me, I'm becoming the person I've always wanted to be. Like I feel like if 14 year old me could see me right now, she would be like, fuck, that's cool. <laughs> like, Lauren killed it. All I said to her was, right, I want a girl with a skirt, long sleeve jumper on. I want lilies and I want it to say flourishing, go. And she was so great. She made some alterations because originally we were going to have a cat. It was going to be me and Yoshi. However, I'm going to go back and get a flower cat from her separately to go on my leg at some point in the future. Um, probably not for a while yet because this fucking hurt. <laughs> Lauren, I love you, but my pain tolerance is shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, it was amazing. Uh, originally we were going to add a colour, but I said like, hey, I might have to dip on the colour. Uh, so we just did some black shading, because we thought if I ever want to come back and add more colour, that's always an option, but I'm pretty sure I want my sleeve to be black and grey, um, and then have colour on my leg. Uh, but we see, like, <sighs> I'm getting a lot of tattoos now, but it's like, I'm very slowly working up to a sleeve, like, I'm not openly saying I want a sleeve I'm saying like I want just tattoos like if it builds up to a sleeve cool if not cool I'm 20 I have lots of years left on earth to fill it with cool art this is what I've wanted for a while I wanted something to commemorate my eating disorder like recovery and that that is that like yeah <laughs> I just can't believe that it. it's on my body. Like I've waited so long to have this and now that it's here, I'm in complete awe of it. It's itchy as hell, but you know, <laughs> it's okay. It, it'll be worth it. Um, so in total, this tattoo cost me 160 pounds. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Even just to meet Lauren. 
Lauren genuinely is the nicest soul on earth. She was so sweet from the second I came in. She was like, you're Beth, right? I was like, I fucking love her. We like fangirled over each other. She's such a gentle soul. I want her to be my friend. <laughs> Studio, gorgeous, absolutely stunning. So my vibe. You can't see my wall, but my wall is all banana leaf. It is like such a vibe. It's so gorgeous. I love it. If my house one day could look half as cute as that tattoo studio, I know I've done something right. And she works at String of Hearts in South Sea, and I really recommend going to see her. She does have a wait list because she's mega talented, but I really, really recommend. Um, pain scale wise, I would say this is like an eight. I forgot how much fucking tattoos are. Uh, I sat for, I want to say like an hour, hour and a half maybe, um, which probably contributed to why it hurt so much. At first I was like, oh my God, I'm going to pass out. I can't deal with this. And then I felt my adrenaline kick in. I stuck on some like heavy music, like Motionless and White, Motley Crue, like, you know, my heaviest side of playlist. And I just kind of vibed, I was like, and I was facing the window and planes kept going past and I was just like, hmm, I wonder where those people are off to, to go and quarantine for a week. Hmm. That's all I have to say. If you have any comments or anything you'd like to ask me, please leave them down below. Like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, I always leave my Instagram down below if you want to shop my earrings even though one broke because I literally made them like an hour ago uh, and it is 1am <laughs> I promise they will last longer than these did <laughs> um, but yeah really not doing a good promo for my shop here I swear it's good you've got almost 50 sales um, but yeah so here is my after shot of my arm and how it will look for the foreseeable future thank you guys for watching see you next time <laughs> you can't really see it it doesn't twist around too much like this you look i have no tattoos and i go ba -bam. Oh, ba -bam, and i've got two <laughs> that was the most disgusting thing i've ever done anyway bye